around here and party. So he's really mad right now. 75,000 points for his place. So if you to go backstage, grab those press parties, do what we do. Let's go. Who's been your favourite act so far? Titchy Stardom! Titchy Yeah, sure, I'm from. Yeah. Is anyone else you're looking forward to that hasn't been on stage yet? Um, no, not really. Example. Example, yeah. Titchy Strider. The Wanted! Obviously, it's a different crowd to the last time we saw you in Coventry. I mean, how does it comp compare? How was the feel? Well, one, it's really hot outside. Two, there's about 80,000 people here. Yeah, something like that. It's massive. It's just absolutely massive. Nice big speakers so you get that dope sound. And it's just been phenomenal, really. How was the energy from the crowd compared to a lot of the other places you've done? God, it's just been good. I mean, every place is different. Yeah. Everybody parties in their own way, but everybody's partying, so it's good. <laughs> Mitchell Swap here at Pie in the Park, just caught out with Tinchy Strider. Yeah, you're on camera, man. How you doing, man? I'm easy, man. I'm good. I saw you at T4 on the beach. Was rocking a star on the hood. It looked like a snapback. Can you tell us a bit about when those are coming out, man? They're looking fly, bro. Snapbacks, they're out now, you know. Yeah, they're out now, man. The star no snapbacks, but I ain't got a couple colours so far, cause I believe you never give too much of people like you have to what people let people want more. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, there's a few coming out. Like I ain't wore hats for time. Like I used to wear hats all the time when I was younger. I come off it, but then I like the snapback way off. Yeah, but looking forward to your performance. Always, yeah. Got 70,000 people. I'm buzzing over that. I think it's gonna be great. Um, just so many people out there, it just goes for miles. Um, nah, great to be here, it's, it's a nice day so far. I think a little bit of rain, nah, it's not too bad, but the sun's here, so it's nice. So I heard you've been working on your second album, is this true? Yeah, album's pretty much finished. Um, it's a bit of a sort of soul, kind of funky vibe to it. Um, with obviously Visual Kick's song completely different to the album, really. It's a little bit off the cuff, a little bit urban. And I quite like it, yeah, it's good. It's going really, really well. The Rizzle kicks through today, so yeah, it's going to be good fun. We're, we're going to go on and do it as well. So oh, Cool, yeah, so yeah. we should be looking forward to that. Up with Jay Sean, how's it going, man? What's up? All good, man. So how are you feeling, your, your, your performance? Any pressure? Nah, man, not pressure. I mean, you know, the thing is, for us, it's all about, um, it's all about that adrenaline rush, you know. Um, people out there, they're fans, you know what I'm saying? They're not... Um, They've come here to just appreciate you and to listen to your music. And so for me, and you know, being in front of them like that and being able to knowing that they're going to know all the songs because I'm doing all the singles um, is going to be a great feeling. That's wanted, not for criminal activity, just for being talented guys. How you doing? Yeah, good man. Yeah, really good. Really good. Have you not been on stage yet? No, just about to go on. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Eighty-five thousand people, or around seventy-five to eighty-five thousand people. Give or take, it doesn't really matter. Really, there's a lot of people out there. How are you not feeling off the energy? You, you feeling good about it? Yeah, I feel really good. I was just saying before um, when we did this last year, and not many people knew us back then. So it's good to go out this time and more enjoy ourselves. I mean, we really enjoyed it last year. We came off, didn't we? we were like, whoa! Yeah, yeah. Absolutely shaking. But I think this time a bit of power behind us. I think some people will actually be here to see us, so that's good. Yeah. So it's the last year when we were just trying to prove ourselves. You know how the walks I had this year? <laughs> stroll, stroll on stage. Chill up, have yeah. a drink, <laughs> give away. All right, it's Mitch and Suave here with the reason for how's it going, guys? Good, We're here at Party the Park. Do you just want to introduce yourselves individually? Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. I'm Mark. I'm Glenn. I'm Scott. I'm Nathan. All right, so how's it been? How's life been after the X Factor? Yeah, really, really busy, actually. Um, after the X Factor, we um, got signed to Sony ATV for Song Martin. Um, we just finished writing our whole album, our debut album called Crying Out Loud. And we've been on the road gigging, supporting a lot of people um, and here today, which is amazing. So yeah, non-stop, mate. All right, so any any features that we should expect on the album? Features? Well, we're going to try and tap up Tinchy and maybe Example and a couple of those people today. But... Well, Mitch and Suave rap, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're looking for a feature, you can holler at us. Like. It's MitchandSuave.com. We're here at Party the Park with Parade. How's it going, girls? They are awesome. It's very hot, though. Oh, I'm baking. I had a jumper on. I had to take it. Oh, you can't be having no jumper. Oh, let's, let's talk about your fashion, actually. Oh, I see well, I've actually stripped off a little bit. I should probably pull that back on. You've got the, the little hippie look going on. Yeah, yeah. kind of.
Karen's up, Karen's up. So, yeah. so do you want to introduce your names individually so the fans and viewers get familiar? Um, I'm Shan. My name's Lauren. I'm Bianca. I'm Emily. I'm Jessica. Oh, cool. So your, your debut single already charted. Yeah. It's top 10. How does it feel being recognised? Like the weirdest thing is now, the gigs we're doing now, they're starting to sing lyrics yeah. back and it's like, whoa, this, this is weird. Everything's just coming so quick. Yeah. So, uh, so you currently working on your album? Yeah, yeah, it's more or less done, isn't it? Yeah, just a little, little things left to do, but yeah, we're very excited about it. Any features that we can expect from the album? Oh, our lips are sealed, I'm afraid. Obviously, you've got the single out spinning for 2012 with Dion Broomfield. I mean, how's that going, man? The response for that record? Oh uh, yeah, you know what? That's something where, like, when they reached out, obviously that's Dion's thing, and then the Olympics reached out. They was like, we want you to do the official track for the two relay. I thought, yeah. All day, and then Dion's got a wicked voice, man. She's only 15 still, so she recorded it. I put a verse on there. It's like a to be a part of the Olympics, people understand that that's a massive thing. It's only hitting me now. You're from East London, so it must be extra, extra yeah, special. Extra special because you see it as it's being built, and now you see it. And then now I'm the official song for the Two Tree Lakes, mad, but I'm enjoying it, man. It's a blessing. You obviously, there's a tragedy recently with Amy Winehouse. I mean, what, how, how what's your take on the situation? It's unfortunate. Yeah. I just hope that it inspires people to make better choices. And my heart goes out to such an amazing talent like Amy. How you, Spencer? Um, I would have to feel the same, man. You know, it was tragic that somebody that was so talented, you know, and so young is is not with us anymore. So, you know, prayers and thoughts go out to family, and you know, she will always be remembered. Uh, how much it has been a pleasure catching up with you. You got killed it as usual. Yeah, man. I just want to touch on it briefly, obviously the situation with Amy Winehouse, man, How, what's your take on it? Obviously she's Dion's family. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's sad news when I heard it. I was on the phone to a friend and they was like, have you heard? I was like, what's up? When they said it, I thought, nah, this, this ain't true. I turned on my TV, so it's true. Sad. That's like a great, great songwriter, singer, like an artist. She's like a, she's like a legend in my eyes anyway, because I connected. When you listen to her music and what she writes, you can tell she's coming from her heart. And Sad she had to leave us that, but she rest in peace, man. Good party in the park with anyone, who would it be? Eminem, man. Eminem? Yeah, for me, yeah. So what about you? If, if he was still alive, Michael Jackson would be the one. Yeah, see, I'd probably say Craig David. Yeah. We're, we're a homeboy, isn't he? Yeah. So, or maybe Adele. I like Adele. Uh, it's got, got me Michael for me as well, like you say, if he was alive. So if you could party in a park with anyone, who would it be? <gasps> Ew! We like Tinchy Stride, don't we? Yeah. Or, or you could just party with us. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> but girls, it was a pleasure catching up with you Thank and best you. luck for the future. One more question. If you could party in a park with anyone, who would it be? Mm, who would it be? Wait. I think it would probably have to be someone like uh, Scarlett Johansson or Megan Fox. Or, you know, who's that new one in Transformers? She's sick. She's British as well. Hannah something. Rosie, that's it. Yeah. Quickly, individually, if you could party in a park with one person each, who would you party in a park with? Anyone. John Lennon. John Lennon, that's interesting. Elvis. Elvis, world legends. I'm going to say example right now. Why not? He's a future legend. You know, who knows? Phil Collins. Phil Collins, another legend. Dappy. Dappy. A real legend. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs>